Hi guys, this is Bill, K4 Fox X-Ray, and today we're gonna to have a look at the LP100A Digital Vector RF Watt Meter by Telepost. The watt meter is a very nice instrument. It has a very nice display, which is easy on the eyes during those long contest periods. It has three modes in the watt meter mode. It has uh, lowercase w indicates average power. The uppercase w indicates peak power, and the T indicates tuning for when you want to tune your amplifier or your radio. The uh, watt meter has several modes. This is the vector mode. This is the dB mode, which gives you an indication of power to load. This is your field strength mode. And this is your peak to average ratio. Now, when you get the uh, watt meter from my uh, telepost, it only has the vector mode and the watt meter mode. You have to go into setup to add the other modes. When you press and hold the mode button, it takes you into the basic setup, which you can change your temperature from Fahrenheit to Celsius. You can set your alarm uh, settings for the SWR that you would like for the uh, meter to take your amplifier out of line. Uh, you simply run a RCA cable from the, amp from the amplifier to the watt meter to the rig and uh, if the SWR exceeds the predetermined uh, setting, it takes your amp out of line. There's your uh, power threshold settings and your power mode, whether it's net or average, uh, your coupler settings, bar graph range. There's your average samples, your peak hold time. The default was two seconds. I turned mine down to one. The decay rate on the bar graph. The type of coupler, you can also get a 10 kilowatt coupler if you've got a, a 8877 or a pair of 8877s. Uh, the uh, display settings when the SWR is not indicating, in other words, when you're not transmitting what kind of uh, setting you would like. You can switch through uh, the actual SWR, the last SWR or the, or nothing, or the dashes or dots. I use the dashes. You can select if your bar graph shows SWR or reflected power. You can enter your call sign or anything else you would like to enter. You can adjust the brightness, the sleeper, uh, the sleep mode, which is your screensaver, as you can see, it just kicked in. The reset mode. And this is your optional modes. Now, when you go into here, you can hit the up, the down button, excuse me, and switch through the available modes, which is field strength, compression, the dB mode, and the field strength. Now, if you hit the up button, that cycles them on or off. So you simply just switch through them and pick what you want. These are the rest of your basic setups. You have a dual coupler option, a very inexpensive board you can add on, and you can have two couplers, which automatically switch between radios for your single operator two radio contesting stations. And that gives you the uh, settings, how you want your watts to display if you have the 10KW coupler. And there we are back at the start. Now, when you go to exit this mode and you press and hold, it's gonna go into the calibration mode. You don't wanna touch anything except press the mode button again to get out completely. You don't wanna mess with the calibration. It's a very nice watt meter, cost about $475 with $25 shipping. Larry will get these things out to you in about three or four days. He doesn't. He doesn't take very long to get his uh, packages shipped. So it's a very good company to deal with. You can connect it to your computer as I have mine and I'll show you here. There is a uh, program you can download off of Larry's website and with a simple serial cable to your computer, you can connect your watt meter and you can also, I'm not very steady on the hand here, but you can also go in and set up everything from within the program and never touch the watt meter. So it's a uh, very, very nice piece of equipment. I would highly recommend this. And if you're looking for a great watt meter, this is the one you want to get. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe for more ham related videos in the future. Thanks a lot. This is Bill K4 Fox X-Ray.